Hey guys, so working on the three quarter done again tonight. It is Monday. So in the last video, you guys seen that we got the, I got the engine in. I did do a couple things off video. Um, I put the water pump in. Can't figure that one out. Well, I can't help you on that. Man, if you already have it out, two bolts. I pulled the front cover off of this engine, the timing gear off. It just pulls off like the normal gear. I got it in the parts washer. That's why the parts washer is still running. Um, we still need to pull the thermostat housing off set the timing so for this i'm going to do it in time lapse because i've done a video on this three or four times um, but all i'm going to do is the engine is at top dead center compression stroke number one and then the i'm going to put the pump at base timing which for this pump is going to be 13 and a half degrees and then i will turn it up from there i think i'm going to turn it up to 17 and a half to start with and then we'll just do 17 and a half to start with so it's not going to be like super crazy timing because we don't really need crazy timing, but I wanted to kind of play around with it, show you guys the difference. I really wish I had the dyno, because then we could actually do some stuff. But that is coming eventually. So uh, I'm going to throw you guys in a time lapse. I'm going to get the timing gear on, the timing set, the front cover on. I'll probably do some of this other stuff. I got this. I just painted the um, this the um, water inlet that I'm going to put on. Uh, thermostat housing. You know, do the, some of that stuff um because i want to see about getting I'm, I'm hoping to get this thing to the point tonight where all i have to do is uh take the fast unit out and put the exhaust system in that's what i'm hoping so we got to get after it and uh let's get to it One, two, three, four.
hey guys so getting into putting the exhaust on the truck so this is the downpipe that comes in the kit um, if you are still using I'm gonna use this one for now and, and we're gonna change it afterwards and the reason I want to do that was I wanted to see if it made a difference in EGTs uh, because the hole in this is relatively small and then we'll build a different pipe for it later <clears throat> but anyways um, these come out relatively easy. The kit does come with new bolts, but I actually haven't opened the kit yet. This is a pipe I still had in stock um, because I want to get the truck fired up tonight. So, um, so if you guys are just watching for the pipe in, or the exhaust install, um, I did install a different engine in the truck. This is the reason we're changing the exhaust, but here nor there. So you don't have to take this piece off unless you're doing a turbo, then you have to, or unless you're doing a different downpipe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're gonna go in, go ahead and throw this thing all right, I'm getting into putting this clamp and piece in here. I do recommend putting any C's on any of the threads, um, pretty much on any exhaust piece. If you don't, you can have problems. If you have problems, it sucks because they're not that much fun to fix. See, it. let's get into it here. Turn the ratchet the right direction, will help. All right, still got a little bit of movement in there. There we go. That. Get our two bolts, and usually I would tighten these from the bottom because you can just reach up in there with the with the an extension in your socket. But being that we're already right here, ah. bolts want to work with us here. Snug this up a bit. Find up where it needs to be. I'm just guessing because at this point I'm literally putting this in there so that we can start the truck. So I uh, just didn't want the exhaust blowing around in here. So um, that'll be. So now we're going to go on to doing the rest of the exhaust. We got to cut the old exhaust out and then uh, we'll get after it. All right, guys, so priming this thing. So I got the oil, it's full of coolant. Well, basically full of coolant. It's full of oil. Uh, priming the fuel system, being that I still have the fast unit in it, is actually really easy. Um, so all I did was I just turned the fast unit on. The key's not on, I don't think. Oh yeah, it is. All I did was just prime the, the fuel system with the fast unit, so I kind of cheated. Um, but basically the bleeder screw that's right here on top of the fuel filter, if you crack that open, pump the primer, I just didn't want to reach down in there when I didn't have to. Why Why do something that you don't have to? Um, so I had these two injection lines. I rolled it over maybe four or five times. Um, and these two injection lines loose and it almost tried to fire up. So I think it's gonna fire up relatively easy. The fast unit does make the bleeding of these systems super easy. So just take that into consideration. Um, when you're doing it by hand, you have to fill the injection pump, get the in injection pump filled up, as soon as you do that then you still have to roll it over and get the lines and all that stuff so when the fast unit is it what is on there it's like a five minute process of of priming it so just take that into consideration now i have no idea how high this thing's going to rev when it starts hopefully it doesn't take off on us Just notice that this clamp 
uh, is no good. Well, I shouldn't say it's no good, but the nut is stripped in it. That's something I always do recommend for you guys that are running these old trucks is carry some of these nuts in your truck maybe a couple extra clamps because it's way worth his weight in gold if you blow a boot off and you're missing a clamp you're missing a clamp and you have no way to um you have no way to start the truck or uh to, to fix the truck because you got a broken clamp it sucks so just thought i'd mention that for the cost of a couple clamps or even just a couple nuts, a couple clamps, a couple nuts, um, some kinds can uh, greatly help you on the side of the road. All right, let's see this thing start. higher than we should be give or take give or take a little bit so we're pretty close to having this thing wrapped up uh we got to get the exhaust done i don't know what time is it now we're nine o'clock 9 p.m so it took me another I, I got another five hours into as we are right now now that's not a direct swap because i kind of had to monkey around i had to find um i had to find this pipe which is a stock pipe I had to find stock elbow, I had to find a stock pipe there. Um, so, and I kind of had to do a few things that I forgot about stock. My eyes are just burning. And I'm, we're gonna have to put a little more timing in it too. A little lazy on timing. I don't know exactly what we're after timing. I kind of guessed, right? So um, we will have to um, turn the timing up a little because like I said, it is lazy. You can tell by the throttle response. When you hit the throttle, it kind of and it goes. So anyways, it's running. Um, we will see the 
exhaust video after this one, putting the exhaust in. Um, I'll show you guys deleting the fast unit because we do have a stock lift pump in this now. So we're gonna delete the fast unit. Um, we're gonna hook up, um, I'll probably put the truck together so I can start driving it um, because it, this is my extra vehicle. But we gotta get the bumper back on, the hood latch. I wanna paint these valve covers because this is the valve cover, because this doesn't have the, the side blow-by um, anymore. It's just this. So I think we're gonna build a blow-by box, I think. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how slobbery it is. Um, and then we gotta do something for our intake as well because they don't have an intake. We could even put a stock intake on it if I have one. Or like a box, I mean. I don't think I have one though. Not something I really keep around, to be totally honest. This is the stockest I've had a truck in many years and it's not stock stock. So, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. Remember, it's not rocket science.